What's going on everybody? So starting to vlog off here with my dad. It's hot. It's under the degree. It's real so, hot. So easy. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Uh, so um, what I want to say. Yeah, so we're at Home Depot and I need a few things because uh, I gotta work on this do-it-yourself little camera rig that I want to make. I've been needing something like this for a long time and to get overhead shots when I, you know, when I do my like uh, unboxings uh, or even for Diana's videos where she's painting her nails, just a nice overhead shot. So we're gonna look for some piping and of course it's gonna turn into like a little tutorial. So help you guys out and learn how to make it. So let's get all the parts. You was a thing that's a free, but you gotta pay. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was going to be a little cheaper than what I paid to make this. So, I don't know. Either way, I need this. So, don't really care how much it cost. I need this for my videos, so I'm going to build it. Now, before I get into this tutorial, I want to talk about the two challenges that I had when coming up with this rig. So, one challenge was that I needed to be able to have the camera to move from left to right, depending on what I was filming down below. And I also needed the camera to be able to go up and down to get either close shots of whatever I'm trying to film or, you know, higher shots, wider shots. Uh, so I had sort of a plan in my head before I went to Home Depot and not exactly, I didn't know exactly what I wanted, but once we went there, we kind of looked at a few things and me and my dad came up with this. Before I jump into this, I just want to say that this was not the most cost effective uh, rig that you can make. So take a look at what I made and you might come up with a better idea than what I did here and it might cost you less money because this was a bit pricey. I'm a little upset about that, but it's going to get the job done, I think. And this is something I really needed. So I went with the first thing that I came up with. So what you can see here, I got two of these uh, T PVC pipes. We got these adapters. I think that's what they're called. And then we got these elbows, so two of those. I also got these two by fours, which are about, let's say a foot long. And this little connector thing. And this is basically, this adapter is gonna screw right into there. And then we also got these steel plates here with holes in them. This was actually longer and me and my dad cut these to fit these sizes. So this would say, I would say maybe a foot and a half, maybe less. And then this tiny one, maybe five inches or so. Um, you're also gonna need two wing nuts, two bolts, long ones, some washers, two washers, and this little tightener thing that's gonna go into the camera. Oh yeah, and uh, four equally sized PVC pipes. All right, I'm gonna start off by putting the top frame together. So I'm gonna put all this stuff to the side. We don't need this right now. And what we want is the elbow piece and we're just gonna put one of these PVC pipes here together. Get the other one. Looks good so far, right? And then we're gonna use the T, put it here and connect up another long PVC pipe. It's really simple. It's literally just putting pieces together. Connect the other T. Uh, put this here. And I'm not gluing anything together in case I want to change something in the future. So it's, it's sturdy enough without glue. On the bottoms here, I'm going to connect these little adapters. And one thing I'm thinking of right now, maybe let's not put the adapters in. Let's attach these adapters to the foot here. I'm actually going to remove this and connect this first and do it this way. So they are pretty much the same height. Like I said, this is really simple. Simple design, but very pricey. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be pretty cheap. The most expensive parts were these two things down here. These are 12 bucks each. All right, so I'm gonna get a close up now. So that's pretty much what this thing's gonna look like. This one has to go down a little bit. 
Okay, now, so here at the top, on these two bars, what we're gonna do is, for, more, for a more stable camera, where am I at? <laughs> for a more stable camera, I'm doubling these up. I'm using two equally sized, uh, whatever these are, steel plates. There you go, that's a good name for them. So I'm doubling them up, lining up the holes, and I got this other plate that's smaller, and what I'm gonna do is just, uh, you know, it's gonna be attached just like this. I think a side angle will work better here. So I'm gonna pop one of these bolts through, like that, and attach this here. And now what I wanna do is just tighten that up using the wing nut. And now in the middle here, I'm gonna attach another bolt and tighten that up. Now this really just depends on where you wanna mount your camera. If you want it closer to whatever you're filming down below, then you put it on this last one. If you wanna go higher, you put it up here. Now the other thing that makes this cool is that you can unloosen the wing nuts and put this steel rod or this steel plate or whatever you wanna call it higher and you can get even higher shots because if you mount the camera here, then you'll probably see some of the plate, but that just depends on your lens. So on the, uh, I'm gonna mount the camera on this side here, so I'm just gonna use these two little washers and pop these through here, and I'm gonna attach that camera here and switch over to my GoPro. And what I'm seeing now is that these PVC pipes, let me turn this on so I can switch over, these PVC pipes here are too short, but it'll still work, but they're too short. I can see the two blocks on the sides, but obviously if I go in a little bit, then it's gone. So in the meantime, I could use it the way it is. These pipes are cheap, so I'll get longer ones, same size, and um, you know I won't see any of these blocks on the sides. Uh, so let's test it out and see how this works. Welcome to another unboxing video. I have a package here, so let's see what we got inside. It looks like it is a package from Removeview. Pretty cool. Let's open it up and see which Removeview it is. Okay, so I got the cradle, the P1 cradle, nice. So does that mean I have the P1 in here? And it in fact is the Removeview P1. Now this wasn't a real like unboxing video. Uh, I just wanted to test out and see how this works. But yeah, pretty cool. I got the Remove View P1 here, and I got to say something about this. So the reason why I have the Remove View P1 is because, in case you didn't know, this isn't out yet. Like nobody has this yet. Uh, the reason why I have it is because I'm actually a Remove View ambassador. So that's me right there, and. I'm a Remove View brand ambassador. How cool is that? I had never told anybody this yet till right now. Unless you looked at my Instagram page, I have it written out there. But pretty sweet. Thanks so much to Remove View for choosing me to be a brand ambassador. And of course, I'm gonna have a lot more videos with the Remove View P1, R1. Uh, it's an awesome device. I really love it. And if you didn't know, the P1 actually uses the uh, the GoPro LCD backpack. So you pop the LCD backpack into the P1 and it transforms the uh, LCD backpack into a, a portable viewing device. So you don't have to stick it into the GoPro itself. You can have it portable on your wrist. I got this P1 cradle here so I can attach that to my bike. It works pretty much the same way as the R1, and, but the P1 is, you know, it's, it uses the LCD backpack. So that's the only differences between the P1 and the R1, actually, the other, the main difference actually really is the P1 is waterproof. The R1 is splash proof. P1 
one is waterproof. You can go up to one meter. So surfing with this, boogie boarding, going snorkeling, as long as you don't go past one meter, you're fine. So awesome. Thanks a lot, Remoview. Uh, like I said, thanks for choosing me to be a brand ambassador. I'm really excited, happy, and I'm excited about this because it's going to work wonders. So Diana just came back. I just want to show her before she walks in what I made. Okay, go. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, that's cool, I guess. So you could do, I could do my nails now? Yeah. Awesome. I mean, is it going to zoom enough? Um, well, you could put the camera like lower if you want. You could attach it here. And I mean, you could you turn it on. Attach what here? Instead of the camera being right there, you could attach it lower. Turn this on. Oh, this. There's no card though. It, that's fine. How close is that? How does that look? Not close. That's not close. Yeah. So obviously lower and adjust the lighting. Or maybe the other zoom lens. No, you can. Like I said, you could go down here, so the camera will be closer to the bottom. Yeah, but here, that won't really make a difference. I don't think. It's still not it, enough. It zoomed all the way in. Yeah. Really? Mm hmm With the other lens, we could, we could attach it higher. And then, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not close enough. But, I mean, is it, I don't know. It would be easier though, right? Yeah, it should be. But I'll probably just do the other lens. Does it, like, mess up the quality or anything? <sighs> no. Nah. And then you could position this here if you want, or here. Uh, the only problem is this isn't long enough, so if it's zoomed all the way out and the camera's higher, you can actually see, see these that. blocks. But it's not too bad. Like if I was going to do this here, like that's pretty good looking. Yeah, for your stuff, that's awesome. So we're looking for a car for California, and it's annoying. Yeah, these gnats are annoying. These gnats. <laughs> so we're looking for a mid-sized SUV, but apparently they only fill, fill, fit, <laughs> apparently they only fit two luggages and four people. That's a lie. We have four people and we have four luggages. Don't uh, they have um, like a, that little latch thing that you can like remove and then you could just pile stuff up? I don't know, do they? Well, anyway. We're going to Venice Beach, right? Because that's really well, pretty. Yes. First of all, Jeremy, your car fits. Well, we finally got a car. We got that all booked. But we still need one more place for San Francisco. We cannot get, like, we're using Airbnb and HomeAway, but nobody's getting back to us to let us know, like, if the places are available. So it, we might end up having to get a hotel, which would kind of suck because the hotels seem to be a little bit more expensive than an actual house to rent so it kind of sucks but you can see here Diana's already preparing her shot for her video but yeah I hope you guys found this whole thing I did today kind of helpful like I said if you don't want to do it this way you don't need to do it that way that's how I wanted to make it that's how I thought of it so that's how I did it so I hope it gives you an idea if you want to do something completely different so like I said hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in my next vlog bye